Hello guys, in this plasticity video, I'll show you how to make this kind of, uh, you know, pattern on your objects. If you're interested in learning plasticity quickly, be sure to check out my plasticity course on Udemy, where you learn a bunch of cool stuff. I just had a new section on the Cyborg Ninja, so be sure to check that out. Link is in the description. So let's just go ahead and start with a regular polygon. Let's start in the origin. You can hold shift and then mouse up or down to add or subtract a vertex. We got that. Let's also add a circle here. But I'm just kind of uh, getting it somewhat close. All right, so we can select that and we can just extrude that up. Pressing D. All right, now I can go ahead and delete these, let's say. All right. All right, I'm going to select this and I'm just going to go ahead and press C to chamfer that. All right, and I'm not going to get these in the center. I've got a video on how to create these kinds of objects. All right, so then we need to go ahead and create that pattern. So you can see in the reference image that it's kind of like, uh, let's say it's like forming a point there or at least very close. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and corner rectangle, square, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and press Shift D, Z to move that down and then the SS to quickly scale that. Let's select both of these. I'm gonna press L to loft that. But you're going to notice there's holes here. So we're gonna select this object. We're gonna click right here to patch holes. All right. So now what we need to do is to kind of select this and then we can use a rectangular array on the X. All right, let's change the number and uh, the distance as well. Let's go something like that. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and use a rectangular array in this side as well. So I'm just gonna kind of uh, make it Y. All right, so let's plug in the same settings. All right, so then, you know, this may be too little, too much. You can fine tune this. So let's see what we got here. All right, that may be a little bit too much. So we're gonna go ahead and delete some of this. All right. Now we'll select this and G and move that right there. All right, I'm also gonna press GZ to move it up here. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and select this. I'm gonna go ahead and hold shift to add all this and press Q. Now, one thing to notice here, guys, is that when you're doing a very complex operation, you need to give plasticity a little bit of time to initialize. Otherwise, if you uh, right click or exit too fast, it's not gonna work. So when I press Q, you're gonna see what I mean. It's not gonna show up as Boolean right away. We need to wait a few seconds for it to work. So I'm gonna press Q. Notice how it took a few seconds to actually uh, initialize. So just be aware of that. If you go too quickly, it's gonna kind of uh, not work. So if you want to actually keep these things to reuse them, simply press T to keep your tools. All right, that gives us that. So just be aware guys on more complex operations, just give that to see a little bit of time to work. All right, now we've got this kind of pattern here. So to get rid of bad spots, one thing I really like about plasticity is that we can just uh, press three to go into face level, just select this and just delete some parts here. And uh, you know, that can help you clean up some ugly parts here if you don't want that. Just kind of fine tune it if necessary. Sometimes you do things in the correct order for it to work properly, all right. So if you want to, you can clean up some of those awkward parts. And that is pretty much this kind of a waffle shape right there. So I recommend not even filleting this. I recommend when you export this to your program to render, Max, Blender, or what have you, you can just use a nice render chamfer instead of having to 
do a bunch of filleting, which will take a while because of how many and how complex it is. So in some situations, we're going to be using a nice random chamfer at random time. So thank you for watching and take care.